Hey, it's Alex from Stellar Finish, and today I'll be explaining our winter washing process for you with this beautiful Toyota Supra. I'll be going over exactly how to safely decontaminate and cleanse all that winter grime and dirt away and leave behind a slick protective finish to keep it looking great. You might be asking, why bother washing your car when it's just going to get dirty again? The answer to that question is that it's always important to maintain your vehicle's finish. And with winter being the harshest season for your ride, it's even more important to look after it and avoid future issues and damage. So sit back and let me walk you through it. So the first thing we've done is we pulled the car into the shop. And the reason we want to do that is we want to assess it and go over everything to make sure we know what we have to work with. We can look for things such as damage or areas that might need a little bit more attention. And we know that driving on winter roads is very harsh on the vehicle, so this gives us an opportunity to get a good baseline before we start the wash. So now that we've gone over everything, let's fire open the garage door, pull this thing out, and get going. To start off, let's go over the proper materials and supplies we'll need to get the job done. Now the fundamentals of our maintenance wash are very similar to our regular wash with a few more steps. We have our three buckets, our wash, our rinse, and our wheels. Now if you're unsure on the proper procedure involved with using the three bucket wash, check out one of our other videos for more of an in-depth tutorial. Now I'm going to cover all the wash chemicals we're going to be using in our winter maintenance wash. To start off, we have our pre-wash foaming soap that is going to be used in our foam cannon. Next up, we have our pH neutral, highly concentrated car wash soap, which will be used in our wash buckets. Moving down the line, we have our multi-purpose tire and wheel cleaner. After that, we're going to be using our iron and fall removal spray. And finally, we have our silica-based paint and surface sealant. Now, all of these used together will be a great recipe for success in our winter wash. So now I'm going to cover the washing materials that we're going to use in our washing process. To start out with, we have a few wheel brushes here. This is a tire and sidewall cleaning brush. Moving up the line, we have a brush that's going to be used to detail the faces of those wheels. This one here is going to be used to clean the inner barrels of the wheel as well as the caliper area. Next up, we have our intricate area detailing brush, which is going to be useful for cleaning areas like the grill and emblems and things like that. After that, we have our microfiber wash mitt, which will be used to wash the entire outer surface of the car. Up next, we have our grit guard. Now, these are going to be used in the bottom of each of our wash buckets, and they're great for preventing the dirt from coming back up into the wash water. And the final piece of the wash puzzle is our purpose-made microfiber drying towel. Now, this is going to be used to fully dry the vehicle safely and without scratching it. So now that we've gone over all the chemicals and the hard materials that we're going to be using for the wash, let's head outside and actually get down to the wash itself. For our first step, we will use our foam cannon filled with a dedicated foaming soap and cover the entire car with it. This allows the foam to dwell longer and helps to loosen the grime and road film on the car, which will make our hand wash more effective and safe. I like to use a soft detail brush to agitate cracks and seams and also emblems and grill components to get a deeper clean in those areas. Now is also a good time to get down low and give the underbelly and suspension components a rinse to loosen any salt and sand from the winter road. So after the foam has sat for a few minutes, we can hose it all off. So now we're ready to apply our iron and fallout decontamination spray on the wheels and paint. This product's job is to remove and dissolve embedded iron filings and environmental fallout from the surface. When reacting with these particles, it will turn purple to identify the spots. Make sure not to let it fully dry on the surface and mist it with water if necessary to keep it wet and working. I like to leave this to dwell on the paint while I clean the wheels, so let's get right into that now. While the iron follow chemical is doing its thing, now is a great time to wash and clean our wheels. We always want to wash our wheels first as they are the dirtiest parts of the car. To start, we will apply our tire degreaser to the sidewalls and then scrub. Next, we will use our barrel brush to reach into the wheel and around the caliper areas. After that, we can use our wheel face brush and detail brush to clean the faces and the spokes of each wheel. Also ensure to get the lug nuts and the hub area. You can also use the detail brush to detail the fronts of the calipers. 
Now we can rinse off the wheels and move back to the main wash. Now that our iron remover has had time to work, we can begin to use our hand wash. Use your two buckets with your clean wash mitt and start from the top and work down. I like to break up my wash into panels and always follow the aerodynamic flow of the car while washing. This keeps any potential swirl marks that might form during the wash in straight lines that blend with the flow of the car better. We want to avoid doing any erratic movements. Now that we've fully washed the vehicle, we can start to rinse it. Start from the top down to make sure you get all the areas. Now we can begin to apply our silica-based spray sealant, such as CarPro Hydro 2. This product will add slickness, gloss, and great water beading to any hard surface. It will keep the paint cleaner in between washes as the dirt particles will not stick as easy now. This is also a great topper for any ceramic coating. Silica sealants are very easy to apply. All you do is simply spray onto the panel evenly and hose off immediately. So now that we've properly washed the car and sealed it, it's time to dry it. We're going to use our purpose-made microfiber drying towel to gently remove the water from the surface. It's as simple as tossing it on the surface, like a tablecloth, and pulling it off. It might take a few passes to get the water off the surface when the towel is dry, but all we do is work our way around the vehicle from top to bottom until we've removed water from every surface. One of the best ways to dry your wheels is with compressed air or with a leaf blower. This allows you to fully dry the inner barrel of the wheel as well as all the nooks and crannies more efficiently than using a towel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video on how to properly do a complete winter maintenance wash on your vehicle. And now you have the skills to keep your vehicle maintained during the harsh winter months. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Or if you'd like to leave us a comment in the box below, please do so. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you at the next video.